2023 faster than any of us ever imagined. World population has exploded exponentially. We're just about to hit 7 billion on this little tiny dog we call planet Earth in the Milky Way galaxy. To co-create a future together that all of us can love, we'll do more than the maintenance learning that our parents did. We will anticipate the shocks and learn to adapt. And we will, with, with anticipation, we'll participate together to create the innovation necessary for us to sweep into 2023 with the successful possibilities that we know we can create. Here are, I'm gonna list just a few of the ideas that we could ignite to get us there with more of peace and prosperity and the greatest good for the greatest number. I think it's sweep or get swept, so let's go play. Social, the first one's social, is social media. The media is the message. Tweets, texts, BBMs, flash mobs, YouTubes, let alone basic email and Google, we are connected. Life is co-created instantly with technology as the vehicle for global mind. Love, as uh, it's our primary social con context and Einstein hoped we would choose it consciously and we are. We've let go of falling in love as the ideal. We now rise in love as a state of being and it's not that we are in, in love, it's that we are love. Food is local, we'll hear from Lance, it's organic, cooperative, greenhouse abundant, permaculture natural. Fitness is fun, we move, we play, we are doing more. There's less structured religion and more active, caring community. And that's part of our wellness. We're happy here and we value wellness. We have some new ideas on what wellness looks like. We are uh, serving spirituality for the greatest good of, of everyone here. And economically, I'm just gonna get this timing down a little better. Local entrepreneurship has exploded. People are self-employed and working together in co-ops with newcomers and internationally in partnerships to create local sustainable products and services for Chatham Kent and the world. We're social, a sustainable entrepreneurs and profit with principle is who we are. And we have everything we need right here, right now, right here in Chatham Kent to co-create a world that all of us can love. To lead the world in quality of life, we are getting on with creating a new and social entrepreneurship leads the way. Environmentally, water is the global issue of our time. Abundant water here is shared because we stand up for it as ours, refusing the path of commodification that oil and gas took before us. It is our water here now to drink, to enjoy, and to share. Green energy, there's more green and green energy everywhere. Our primary energy sources are renewable and mostly from the sun. Solar windows and walls and roofs, the sun powers our world right here in our own backyards. And the color is still more green. There's green roofs in Singapore, in Guelph, math is not, I didn't have a picture. We plant trees all over the place. Community gardens are supplanting front lawns everywhere. What did we have lawns for? Victory gardens have made a comeback. You can have your garden and you can eat it too. <laughs> hey. Future quotient, the 21st century, the old order is coming apart, and for better or worse, a new one is self-assembling. A crisis is a terrible thing to waste. We are the SIG, the SIG, creating a culture of continuous social innovation. It's a great new world. And even more than a university campus, thanks Terrence, she'll tell us about it, it's an evolution of the entire educational model. We teach our children by example to anticipate and to participate. We become resilient valuing social capital, civil society, informal networks and active citizenship, and a new politics, SIMPOL. Simultaneous policy is peaceful, open, and democratic. We contribute to the formation of specific policies to solve problems. It's an effective way to drive the politicians from all parties and all countries. The real wealth of nations is tapped as we value home as much as we value the paid workplace. It's a new politics of value, the new MBA, mutual benefit, mutual accountability, and mutual respect. It's a journey, and we keep moving forward. And the personal is political. The great invention, belly breathing. I had to go to India to learn this. Kids know it. It's not religious. It's not even spiritual. We're just physical. We breathe. We're present. We relax. We're healthy and well. We're happy. And we're kind to ourselves and to others. I'm not saying it's all blue skies and fluffy white clouds. We do embrace the storms. When I fall asleep and rage against the darkness, I laugh at my ignorance and remember to turn on the light. <laughs> to imagine a new possibility and to live each moment fully is not a matter of faith, according to Thich Nhat Hanh. It is a matter of practice. And together we anticipate changes, participate in new ways of living, work and play together. We innovate to adapt and thrive on this little piece of earth we call Chatham Kent. I want to thank you very, very much for 
together co-creating a world that all of us can love. And the last word from Dick, not Cheney, through gloom and shadow we look on beyond the years. The soul would have no rainbow if the eyes had no tears. Yeah.